Hey guys. Did you feel like it went for your defense? You know, um, we made some critical stops when we had to. I thought we played well on third down overall. Um, you know, I think like 27%. Uh, completion or uh, conversion percentage, but uh, obviously a lot of things to clean up. You know, we had a couple opportunities early where we could have uh, forced them into a, a second and 15, those type of things, and we just missed a lot of tackles. Um, you know, I think that we got we have to work on that this week because uh, it just showed up. You know, obviously, and they'll they'll challenge us on that next week. But had quite a few times where, where we were we were in the position to make the play and uh, just have to execute a little bit better. Yeah, I think from the, from the start of the game, man, he was locked in. Uh, he came with a sideline, like, I'm on fire, coach. You got to put me back in. Uh, I'm like, yeah, I, I hear you, you know. And so he, he did a really good job. And, and, and when it mattered the most in the critical moments, he was, you know, calling the guys up and getting them ready to go and, you know, giving a great mindset for the, for the team all night. Gentry, I know you threw him out there for one play, and just to see him go out, just he was trying to be real resilient and get back out there. How tough a blow was that? You know, I mean, obviously we love Gent. He's a heck of a player and uh, just has had a lot of a lot of injuries. Uh, and, you know, just kind of one of those guys that's it's always kind of banged up. And um, hopefully it's nothing serious and, and he'll be able to come back again next week and, and help us. Because, man, he's, when he's good, man, he's one of the best in the country. So uh, we need him for sure. Consider how long the defense was on the field throughout the game. You know, I tell them all the time, man, we no, no matter what happens, like we control what we can control, you know, and so whether it's the balls, you know, uh, one second left with one yard to go or it's the first play of the first quarter, man, our standard doesn't change, you know, how we play, how we perform, man, uh, you, you will tell me we got to get, get to go win the game on defense, good. Like, that's what I want to, that's how I want to think, that's how we want to do. When we got in the huddle, that's what they said. You know, good. We get an opportunity to go right stop there. them right now. You know, and then we do get the safety right there, and then come back and do it again. Um, but they never wavered, and I was proud of them for that. Absolutely, man. Grayson did a great job. You know, just doing the little things really well. If you watch the play, man, just getting with and beating the guard right up the field, and you know, nothing spectacular per se. Just really good at doing his job, and then he's a heck of a talented player. So when it came down to the moment to make the play, he could. So proud of him. I mean, just his development, his growth. You can just see that the passion's there and the the abilities there, and just he's he's an awesome player. Last couple, have you seen him come just since you've been here? You know, I see the commitment, you know, I mean, everybody wants ready-made products all the time. You know, a guy shows up, he's got this, he's supposed to be all these things. And, and the reality is it takes work. You know, it takes work to be great. It takes work to consistently improve every day. And he's a guy that bought into the work. You know, that throughout the summer, man, he got stronger. He you know, gained weight. He did everything he needed to mentally to get prepared. And you watch him in camp and you'd sit there and be like, yep, this is what we expected. The last couple of years he's kind of been known as pass rusher from the interior. But what's he done to be a guy that you can lean on in all situations? You know, I think just the the strength and the toughness it takes to play the position is so high at that at that spot, and just the development both physically and mentally over the last year, man, he's really matured and he's coming to his own, and and you know you just you see it out there now, and so um, he's a guy that man we we trust to go out there and execute. What's it take when your offense isn't doing much? You need this time to go back out there and just stop. Well, we're a team, so, you know, that doesn't bother us at all, man. It, it's every time we get an opportunity to go on the field, that's a good thing in our minds, right? Got another chance to get a sack, another chance to get a TFL, another chance to get an interception. Um, and so we're, we're excited, man, and we take a win however we can get it because, man, they're going to be a game where they're going to bail us out and then vice versa because it's a team sport. Sammy, also about having a firefighter mentality out there. Just, how do you guys instill that as coach and stuff? Uh, I guess well, my question would be, what's a firefighter mentality? Oh, I got you. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just, like I said, we, we try and play to a standard every time we take the field. Um, and that's what we preach. That's what we talk about. That's what the guys are, you know, hearing from us every day. And they, they say it to themselves as well, because that's what we want to be. You know, and hey, man, we play to a standard. We don't play to an opponent. And so it doesn't matter the situation, how it is, what's going on. That's what we're going to try and do. One of the first things that he Man, you know, he's always trying to get better, you know, and that's why he's so successful. 
Um, you know, nothing's ever good enough, and I think that that's the that's always the mindset. I think I've got the same type of thought process, man. We can we can shut them out and win by 100, and it's still going. We're going. There's going to be some things we can improve on. Um, you know, when he's got that same thought process as a mature guy that's been around, man, he knows that probably three or four of those plays, man, he wish he could get them back. You know, because he, he makes the play there. Maybe we're off the field. We're not in the situation we're in. Um, and so I think all of us want to be, you know, the best versions of ourselves all the time. So uh, he's certainly a mindset type of guy that way. I think so. You know, we get them. We had a couple times where you know we, we kind of gave them the they got the ball to you know right on the edge of plus territory field goal range and, and we stood up every time, you know in the second half after that first series and you know you, you removed that penalty which, you know I don't know on that one but they uh, they get an opportunity right afterward and usually when you get a big penalty like that in the drive that's you're more likely to give up points, uh, just the straight statistics say that and so the resilience to come back and to be ready to to re to play I thought we did a really good job man in that kind of. Uh, that middle of the field area of just not letting them, you know, get down there to a point where they could score. Grayson's great sack it looked like he was just so fast the offensive line couldn't react. Was it that simple or did he do something else to just blast through there? You know, I got to be honest, I was looking down the field, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, I know he was there fast, so uh, however he did it, I'm, I'm fired up for him because uh, it definitely helps play by him. It looked like that the offensive lineman couldn't even react. Mm -hmm. No, that's that's awesome. I'm sure I'll see it on tape here in a minute. Just dominating like time of possession and the defense like keep coming through. What does that show you about like the toughness of the group? Yeah, I think, you know, the toughness of this program, you know, it, just, it starts with Coach V, man, which is every day, you know, we, we have a standard. We're trying to be the best. I'm trying to be the best all the time. And so uh, the resilience and the toughness, that comes with that, you know, and I think that as we got, you know, progress through the game, we progress through the season, man, you can just see the maturity of the guys on our side of the ball in particular that just, man, we got a lot of like six-year veteran guys that have been through the fire, you know, that know what it takes to win. And so, it's you know, as things get hard, they get better. Um, you just see that in Danny Stutzman and Billy Bowman and um, Ethan Downs. I mean, you talk about leadership, they got it. Um, that certainly helps you know, drive everybody else around them. A lot. So I was wondering, how do you handle situations when Kendall Doby gets a 15-yard penalty at a key moment? What kind of discussions do you have with, one with a player like that? You know, on, what things happen? On that one, uh, uh, Coach V took it, uh, so I didn't have to say anything on there. Um, he, he grabbed him, took him off to the side, and so I was kind of focused on playing the next play right there myself. So, uh, but man, you you know, it depends on exactly what happens, and, and obviously, you know, kind of the situation uh, per guy.